are watching a rescue team in action. One of 27 such teams attached to the fire department of Los Angeles County. Five and a half million people in this area are dependent on their ability to act swiftly and efficiently in any emergency. This program is dedicated to rescue teams throughout the United States and to the men who risk their lives daily to save others. We will be back in a moment to bring you the story behind this exciting rescue. Straight days, our sunshine has been slightly liquid. Torrential rains are turning many areas of Los Angeles County into lakes and rushing rivers. Many people are stranded. Many others are being evacuated. The Pacific Coast Highway is closed to all traffic. Stay home. Drive as little as possible. We will bring you more news as it happens. How about some more coffee, Wes? Well, mind if I do, Fatty, as long as we're drinking on borrowed time. Funny how quiet this phone's been. I expected we'd be yanked back on duty long ago. Mommy, Daddy! Mommy! Mommy! Daddy! I just gotta go outside for a while. <laughs> Not unless you have a boat parked outside, sweetheart. Susan, what on earth are you gonna do with those animals in this storm? Save them. Jimmy Moss, he's building an Ozark, and he said if any animals needed to be taken care of, he'd take them along with him. I hope he builds it large enough to take along a few human animals anyway. Susan, you pick up that phone and tell Jimmy you are certainly not going out in weather like this. But the teacher in Sunday school said Joe saved the whole world by building that ark. Oh, Pigeon, I'm sure that Mr. Noah had a little more know-how about building an ark than Jimmy Moss. I think you and the animals would be safer here, don't you? Mommy. Go on. Oh. No sound coming out. The line must be down. I thought we were awfully lucky having you two home this long. We interrupt this program with a flash bulletin from Ivy Canyon. Flood control authorities are issuing a special warning to all residents of Ivy Canyon. It is now believed that water pressure in the dam has risen beyond the safety point. All available sheriff, fire department, and disaster units are requested to assist in the immediate evacuation of the homes in this canyon. That's it, Skip. Let's go check in at the station. See you later, Patty. Bye. Well, I hope we're still afloat by the time you get back. I think this is a pretty seaworthy house. Besides, it's got a great skipper. <laughs> They were lucky to get us before the phone went dead. It's about the dam above us, Father. They say it may not hold. They're sending a truck to move us out. Just let them try. Did you shoot the double bolt on the door? Did you? I was just going to. All, all this rain, Father, it eats at the foundations. They say it isn't safe to stay here any longer. They say. I say it is. We built this house ourselves. But, Father... Wilma and I, every stick of it, I know what's safe and what's not safe. Uh, we know the breed. Don't we, Wilma? We've seen them on the veldt. Trooping to the kill. Hyenas. Vultures so thick you had to beat them off the carcass with a club. We will let them beat us out that way, will we, Millie? Twenty thousand dollars in gold and silver coin. Hard cash. You know where I have it hid? No, Father. I, I don't know. Good girl. Always say that, no matter who asks. Thanks can fail, Millie. Your mother and I found that out. One. Better places to keep our bright pennies, Willie, really, than banks. And better ways to guard them. I never did let you inside my private lodge, did I? 
no father. Why? Why do you think? I don't know. That's the whole reason. So you won't know. As if you knew what's hid there and where it's hid. They'd get it, wouldn't they, Millie? I, I don't know, Father. <laughs> it's an old elephant hunter's trick. Never let your number one boy carry the purse. We never did. But, but Father, if, if they're getting everyone out of the canyon, there must be real danger. They'd like us to believe that, wouldn't they? They'll try anything, Millie. <laughs> Even bursting dams. If you listen carefully, you'll hear the rain is stopping. I don't want to pitch any panic here with this, but the operator at the dam says if that rain starts again, we've got less than half an hour to clear out. We've checked every house in the canyon. Evacuation's underway. Only one family giving us any trouble. Who is it? We'll flush them out for the washout. That fellow Wild, he's a mental case, but I got the word to his daughter. Well, the people in this canyon are your responsibility. It's a little late to be ringing doorbells. The weather report's not good. Well, at least we got some help. Hey, stick around. We'll need you to show us the way. Sure. Watch out for that fallen tree, Skip. That's it. Is that a light beam up ahead? Looks like it. Rescue 8 to L.A., spotted light beam, top of Ivy Canyon at scene. <laughs> Billings again. Superintendent number seven. Can you hear me? Not very clear. I'm not getting you very loud and clear. Now listen. There's a definite fissure opening on the main wall. Have you got all the valves open? Sure, we got every valve wide open. But those emergency hatches can't handle a river. You think she'll hold through the night? Yeah, it might hold. If that blasted rain doesn't start coming down again. Another storm front moving down the coast threatens to end the brief respite from the severe rains in the Los Angeles area. Small craft warnings are out and evacuation is underway. <laughs> Trippery here has brought down three male lions, Millie. Father, what are you going to do? You know what storms wash up? Scavengers. Thieving, trespassing hyenas. They're afraid to walk out in the light of day. But I'll be ready for them. Father, no. Oh, not with old Trippery here. Unless other measures fail. Well, man, I always brought our game out alive. Most times, anyway. You wait here, as always. Yes, sir. If anyone tries to get in, don't open the door. Don't even answer. If anyone sneaks through, I'll be waiting in the garden. but he's no ghost. He lives alone here with his daughter. Nobody I know has ever seen the inside of this place. Well, we're gone. Oh. Oh. You okay? Scared more than anything else. Lucky there wasn't much voltage. Well, we won't give it a second chance. Skip, see if you can snap that chain with mechanical axe. Who is this fellow Wild? A retired executioner or something? He used to make big game movies in Africa. I lived six houses from him for years. Never saw him except in an old silent picture. I'll see if there's a way in through the back. Can't wait here for an invitation. I can't let you in. You've got to, lady. 
a rescue team from the county fire department helping to evacuate this area. If it starts to rain again, you could be trapped in a flood. Miss Wilde? Yes? Where's your father? He's out, out at the lodge, I think. The lodge? That's, that's the old barn at the end of the garden. He uses it as a study. You better pack up what you need. We'll get your father. No. Don't. Why not? Well, you see, my, my father's not very well. Don't worry. We'll take care of him. You, you don't understand, you see. You see, ever since my mother died, he hasn't been himself. Even, even I'm not allowed near the lodge, and I take care of him. She's terribly frightened. You better stay with her. Sure. <laughs> We know where he is. You know what this thing's called? Well, I don't know what you call it, but it could sure put some more holes in your head. It's a Malayan spear trap. Well, it's too close. Now, I could swear I heard somebody calling for help. Come on, we must be careful. This whole place must be booby-trapped. Skip was right. We've gone out on some strange kinds of rescue Nobody responses. Help. But this man we were trying to save from a flood was a victim of something more dangerous, a deranged mind. He baited me into this. Yeah, we know. I think my ankle's busted. Settle right back here. Uh, I'll get a split on in just a minute. Make a split out of those fronds, Skip. You got a handkerchief? Thanks. Well, it looks disguised. As soon as we get the sticks, we gotta get out of here. I think it's that gizmo back there. Yeah. It's the last word from the operator at the dam. He says the pressure is still rising. He doesn't think it'll hold if this rain starts again. You better get your boys out of here. Okay. Only one's been evacuated from the canyon except old man Wild for his daughter. The rescue truck is down there now, trying to get him out. You better call L.A. and tell them to contact that rescue truck. We're getting out of here, and they better head too if they haven't already. Volunteer worker can 
drive you and Miss Wilde out of the canyon. Better hurry up before it starts raining again. What about you two? This is getting to be more of a law enforcement job than a rescue. Boy, oh, that's a fact. Why oh, should we stay and try to help a guy who'd rather kill us than be helped? I think this is a job for the boys in the white coat. Can't argue with that. Keeps now. It's live ammunition. Making sure you use some tear gas. Any other way to get in that room, Sheriff? No, nah, even the witness reported up. What about a smoke screen? That old burlap's probably damp. We can make a smudge pop with that lantern. At least you can't get a clean shot at us. Go ahead and try it. It sure won't stop that rain. Some other way to get in there. Keep talking to him. Okay. This is one chance to save your father with your help. It could be dangerous. Keep 
just tell me what to do, and I'll do it. Does he keep any of your mother's things around here? Well, this trunk's full inside. Good. Give me a light, Sarah. All right, Julie, lead the way and keep real low. Evacuated from Ivy Canyon. Available. And for rescue aid. You know, Wes, it took a flash flood to set that girl free. Think the old man will ever make it? Well, I don't know, Skip. Now he's outside the walls of that old house. Maybe the walls of his mind won't be so high. Now, speaking about houses, I wonder if mine's still there. <laughs> well, if it isn't, I guess we'll just have to stow away little Jimmy Moss's ark. <laughs> 